We're here in Tofino, British Columbia on the west coast of Vancouver Island. And this trip, we're gonna be fishing with Kelly Aspinall of Charter Tofino. And Kelly has been a long time passionate angler who's guided all over Vancouver Island. I'm super excited about this trip because we're gonna be targeting Chinook salmon with a technique I've never done before and have wanted to do for several years. We are going to be jigging for live squid and then using the live squid as bait to target our fish. I arrived into Tofino a little bit later in the day, but still headed down to the marina to meet up with Kelly so we could get our gear ready for a late afternoon, early evening fish. Been turning on this last week. It's starting to get consistent. So hopefully find a few here. Timing is everything. It, we're, we're gonna fish a little differently though than... Uh... Yeah, no downriggers today. We're uh, jigs and squid. Yeah, something that I've been wanting to do for years, probably since I've been fishing over here, over probably for almost 20 years, and I've just never done it, but I know there's a window. They just showed up last like th three days locally, so some big quality fish too, some lots of mid-20s, so hopefully get a big boy. You know, the plan is to go out and get some live squid, jig up some live squid, and then <clears throat> we'll be uh, just running like a slide weight here down to a, a bead chain, and then from our bead chain down, we'll have our leader with our live squid attached to it. So basically, these are these rods are just going to be sitting in a holder, and uh, just just waiting patiently for these salmon to come and eat that live squid. We got some spinning rods and some conventional bait casting rods that uh, we, we can jig with as well. So we're going to play around with a, a bunch of different methods here and and uh, try and have some fun. After getting set up, it was time to head out and I could feel myself getting more and more excited. When jigging for salmon, having good electronics is of the utmost importance. And we are so fortunate to have a great partner in Simrad and have top of the line electronics for when we're doing a fishery like this. The details of the system are incredible. Identifying bait is crucial and you can actually watch your jig go down through the bait and at times you can even see arches like bigger fish like salmon move towards your line on the electronics is absolutely incredible and and it's imperative because if, if you're off you know 15 20 feet or you're not near that bait you're not going to get the squid and you're not going to get the salmon it's critical to know exactly where you are so having good electronics is definitely a key for success go through the top of the mantle like that and come around with your second here and you want to make sure you're not getting any vitals there and you rig them just like that just like almost a cup plug. And then you just take them here, flip them out, and you lower them right back down to bottom. Freeze pull down, and it's just like halibut fishing. I can't believe I haven't done this before, because I mean, there's a lot of different areas up and down the coast where these squid kind of hang out, but you, know, you gotta put your time in, you gotta work, you gotta find them, and you gotta be patient. This fishery is a lot like fishing off the dock when you're a kid. It's, you know, you, you catch your bait, you put it back down, you watch for nibbles. It's uh, That's awesome, a little man. different than your conventional salmon. Cross between fishing off a dock and halibut. That's okay. on there. There he is, here he is. Oh, let, him, oh, wow. let him go. They're just picking it up so soft. That was a spring. Yeah, I thought he had it. There he is. He came back for it. He came back for it. Halfway down. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Giddy up. Such a subtle hit, too, eh? Oh, so subtle. It's coming right at it. Oh. <laughs> they are scrappy. Oh, look at Jesus. He just did a 180 like that. There he goes. He's straight down now. Not the fun about having Dude. no flash, or they're just, you never know what they're going to do. He was at the front of the boat and did a 180 and came straight back. Nicely oh, done. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> that was awesome. Kelly, great job, buddy. Beauty. Look at that chrome bar, hey? Live squid. Live squid. First Chinook on the live squid. We're gonna we're gonna keep this fish. You know, probably 14 pound fish. Yeah, eh? Good eater. Good eating fish. Just some keep. bigger fish in here that we'll we'll get a chance Absolutely. to release, but we'll keep this guy. Thanks for the cooperation, buddy. What a, what a fight. That yeah. was awesome. That was exciting. Thanks, dude. That was cool. Hey, thank that you. was cool. Big squid, big squid. I love being out on the water at night. Less traffic, normally. 
Well, the squid sure are cooperating. We've got a lot of squid tonight. Looking like something's going on, yeah. eh? Just want to see that thing going around. Going a little. It's slow. Yeah, it's real slow. Real. I think there's something grabbing it. Oh, he's just not committing. Something's grabbing it. Real. There he is. Oh, he's yeah. buckled. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that, just, that was a good bite, That was eh? a good bite. Jeez. Well, that's a good that's one. A nice Mo, that's a good one. Really hard to gauge Oh, fish yeah. Sometimes He's a nice fish, dude. He's oh, yeah, a nice fish. One. <laughs> that's the one we're looking for. That's the one we're looking for. Here he comes. I should have tried to get him in right no, away. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, jeez, man. He is taking you for a rip. That's a, that's a big boy. He has some shoulders. Yeah, quite a bit larger than our last two. Wow. Good eye on the bite, man. Man, this is a blast. This is so much fun. He's heavy. And they're just chrome right now. Bullets. Just ripe. Oh. That's awesome, dude. It is. Gosh, see those head shakes on that rod? It's scaring me. Just like violent. It is. <laughs> I don't know if he's done here, but that's a big boy. Uh, beauty. I'm gonna reach on him. Got him? <laughs> Barely. There's the long arms, bud. There he is. <laughs> and the bow hooks are out. Oh, jeez. That's a nice fish. That's a geez. beautiful fish. <laughs> Nice net job. Sometimes you gotta reach on those when they start rolling. They'll sit there and roll just out of net range. <laughs> sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. You've that seen, one I would say lucky. You've seen that movie before, hey? When they... There we go. Wow. Hooks, are, hooks are out. Nice. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, oh that that's, might, that that's is, over 30. Dude, that's 35 pounds. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Look at that on the squid. Get in here, Kelly. <laughs> Absolute are you, hammer. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. Dude, that is a hog. That's one of my biggest in Tofino. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna get him back in here. Yep. He's ready, ready? He's kicking. Look at that wrist. Ready? Oh my, dude, that's unbelievable. Nicely done. I'm, sh I'm shaking right now, like shaking. That's a big fish anywhere you go. That's huge. Yeah. Huge fish. That's what we're looking for. That I think that might be, if that's not my biggest fish in Tofino in, in like seven, 18 years fishing here, that is my second biggest. Unreal. That's 35 all day. Absolutely. Maybe more. Yeah, big belly on them. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, oh. that was awesome. That thing was, we saw it there, and then when it lifted it, like his his tail was huge, and then his belly. I mean, that's it's mid thirties, if not higher, right? When you get them on the squid, there they just got those big paw bellies, big wrists on them, and scrap. And we couldn't tell right away because, like, I mean, good bite. Obviously, you reeled into him, and then after you took that big run of that, and then then you felt the fish for a while, and he's just sulking there, and you can okay, here he's just some weight to him. Well, that's just this fishery. You really do not know until you see the fish. You can get. Mid 20s fish come right up to the boat and they just head shake and sulk and before they even take a run. So until you have it in the net or see it at the boat, you never know. We were talking on the way out here about big fish nowadays. And, you know, a fish mid 20s, you know, you go back 10, 15 years, that's maybe a 30 pound fish. So, like, a mid 20s is almost like a tiny sized fish nowadays. Yeah. And then to come out here kind of talking about bigger fish. And Kelly's been getting into some bigger fish here the last couple of days, like quality wise. And to catch a fish that's mid 30s here in Tofino, that's insane. Absolutely. That's, insane. That's my biggest fish of the year. <laughs> biggest I've seen this year. So, uh, oh. couldn't, doesn't get much better than oh, that. Oh, man. I'm shaking. Is, <laughs> I'm literally that, shaking. That is awesome. Uh, that's why Tofino is such a special place. Like, I've been coming here for years with my parents since I was a little kid. and. and uh, Every time I come out here, it's something amazing. Like whether it's, you know, catching a fish like that, or you see a wolf inside, or whales, or whatever it is, it just blows you away every time, you know? It's incredible. Oh, it's another good one. So I'm, I, I turned yeah. the boat left and okay. put in gear. 
No more spear, you're yeah, good. Yeah, no more spear. Oh, spit it. No. Oh. No, reverse, reverse. Reverse. Oh, he's reverse. coming at you? Hard reverse, I think, or he's bit up. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. He spit it? No, he's gone. Oh. Man, that was just as big. Oh, I'm that sorry, man. I wasn't on this quick no, enough. No, no, that wasn't you. Oh. Oh, no, he's still here. Oh, oh my God. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Other way, hard. We're good, we're good. Huh? Woo! <laughs> nice, this is, uh, this is organized chaos. <laughs> no, that's a good one. He was coming right back at the boat. Oh, it was incredible, yeah. This is a big fish pull right now. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I'm just corked on him and he's not moving. Well, big fish travel with big fish. 100%. Still got a decent amount of line out. I, we got another tie. That's a big fish, man. We got another tie. Oh, man. That's wild. <laughs> got him. Beauty. Nice net job. Nice job, buddy. Good playing it. That was one of the bigger scraps I've seen. What a great. He's a big fish yeah, again, nice too. Nice long fish. Beautiful fish. Awesome. On the squid We're again. On the squid man. right after the last big boy. What a cranker. There he goes. Nice job, man. That was sweet. That was awesome. That was one of the better scraps I've ever seen. That was sweet. Nicely done. Great Man. job. I don't, I don't even know. Is this real life right now? Whoa, look at him. Right on the surface. Oh, oh donkey. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a good fish. <laughs> Weather's come up on us here. Coming up again. Oh, look at that color. Wow. Just head shaking. Violent. Oh, awesome. Jeez. Dude. That's another slob. It's absolutely insanity right now. These fish. And you know, we waited them out a little bit early on, went through a couple snaps right now. Like, look at my, look at my rod. That's a large. be the biggest of the night. This has been a remarkable, remarkable evening of fishing. I don't even know what to say. Oh, look at him out there. Oh, jeez. His big old tail just rolling out on the surface. Oh, oh. oh my Same god. Same thing. Dude, it's like. That's another toad. <laughs> wow. Look at the hooks are right out like yeah, that. Hooks are like out. nothing. Man, I, uh, that's a big one. <laughs> that, could, How big that could be another tie. I think that's another tie. Oh, go. look at that slab. Another huge, huge fish, man. I'm gonna get him back in. Okay. He's gone. He wants to go. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. That was. A, I grew tired of that. You, yeah. You're not topping that. How do you? I'd say you can do it again, but we've just done it twice in a row, so. He was. He was still pretty hot, so we just got him right back in the water right away, and he's he took off. He's gone, and I think I think we're done, man. I think we're done. I don't know how. Yeah, how do you drop I'm three, three slabs in a row? Pretty rare you get that on the west coast these days. Oh, jeez. All right, and the wind's just picking up. Oh, uh, that's a pretty pretty good first. <laughs> that was insane. That's probably. I will say it's the best night of quality fish here in Tofino I've ever had. Like those Absolutely. last three fish, man. Absolutely. That's, those unheard, are that's unheard of. Three of the biggest fish I've heard of in town this year. So to do that back to back is uh, nice something job. special. Oh, man. So our late afternoon, early evening fish completely blew away my expectations. I mean, I was super excited heading out. Kelly had mentioned the squid were in, so I thought we had a good chance at maybe getting a fish or two. But I can't even begin to describe the evening we had out there. It was absolutely epic. All the fish were over 20 pounds. Personally, I caught what might have been my largest Chinook salmon ever in Tofino, a fish that was pushing the mid to high 30s, along with 
two other Thais, three Thais in one night. I mean, it was absolutely incredible and a memorable experience that I will never forget. It's the next morning and the fishing was so good last night. I had to make a phone call to my good buddy, Willie Mitchell, and get him to come in from the blue water and fish with us inshore with the live squid. He's a part owner of Tofino Resort Marina and they do such a great job contributing back into the community and what they do there is absolutely fantastic. And the squid fishery is something that Willie has never had the opportunity to pursue before as well. So I felt uh, it would be pretty neat to get him out on the boat with us again today and, and maybe have the same success. Got him? Nice. That a boy. Had a boy. <laughs> Can't say I've caught a lot of salmon on level lines, but this is fun. <laughs> I gotta let it. I gotta let the guest catch one once in a while. <laughs> you know, I don't want to come I, out. <laughs> I think you had your fill. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it very much. Thanks, well, Kelly. This is. Look at that. There we go. Oh, it's, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. The front. Oh, oh It's nice fishing, guys. Oh yeah. Good there, Kelly. It's coming right towards him. <laughs> right there. Oh, jeez, dude, that's oh, a yeah. dandy. That's a nice fish. Like, the cool thing about this is it's, I mean, as Light long gear. as you've been fishing, this is something new. Oh, right? Amazing. Absolutely, right? I've never done this before. So thanks for the invite. Oh, Kelly, any time. There. Here we are. Let's see if I can turn his head. Yeah. You got him, bud. Hey. He's still a hot fish. <laughs> nice. Thanks, mate. Nice job, dude. <laughs> On the jig, buddy. Look at that thing. That's a dandy. <laughs> awesome. So there's a couple different ways that you can target catching live squid. One is a kind of a traditional squid jig, but we were actually jigging with salmon jigs. The Gibbs Delta Mac Fish jigs, two and a half and five ounce weights in the herring aid pattern. So the benefit of using a, a salmon jig while trying to catch squid as well is you can catch salmon. So a few times when we were actually on the drop or a quick retrieval, we were getting bit by salmon. So a few times we actually hooked up with Chinook while we were trying to jig and catch our live squid. And that was such a rush. I we saw got a happen. Chinook. Got him on the jig. What are we at for fish to the boat? Uh, we got three. Fish to the boat? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, oh hey. Hello. The porpoise in eh? We're getting them on the jig. You know, been fishing here a long time, but it's a different style of fishing. And it's, I don't know for the life of me why I haven't tried to do it more. I know, you know, part of the reason is, you know, there just really hasn't been a big squid spawn here over, you know, 10, 15 years ago, but Last couple years here, they're coming back in bigger numbers and you're constantly engaged because you're jigging off the sides. So you're either catching bait or you're hooking up salmon on jigs. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm oh, look at that head shake. Head. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's just porpoising. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Almost a backlash in there. <laughs> in the bag. Hooks out. Hooks out. Well, boys, I mean, what an absolutely incredible morning out here. Like, ridiculous. I know last night was the first time I live squid fished here. Yeah. Willie, your first time today yeah. and on the jig. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it was, it was all time, that's for sure. <laughs> all time. <laughs> nice to always, like, if you're a seasoned fisher person and, and you've done a lot of fisheries, to try new stuff out. And for me, yeah, it was a first, so just really special. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, thank yeah. you. It's been a blast and uh, certainly something I'm going to be doing again. And, for sure. And, and it certainly helps with the success well, rate what's happened. Yeah, and Kelly, man, you've been you've been on it. It's been fantastic. Learned a lot. Yeah. Learned a lot, and, and it was a pleasure, man. Like, uh, it was so much fun. I'm like a kid. I can't get the smile <laughs> off my face. Well, it doesn't hurt when you have a great 20, 30 pound fish in the mix and <laughs> steady bite and black calm weather. Yeah, you can't. It's tough to beat. I'm completely sold on jigging for live squid and using them as bait. The last couple days we had were 
absolutely insane. I want to say a huge thank you to, to Kelly for his professionalism and insight into this fishery. Couldn't have asked for a better guy to go out and, and learn from. Finally, just want to say thank you to Willie for joining us for a day of fishing. And this trip was yet another phenomenal, memorable trip in Tofino. We're so fortunate to be able to have experiences like this on the West Coast. There is unlimited adventure out here. And just when you think you've seen it all, you realize you haven't.